and to show my appreciation and then also to use those last two pages to take notes if you want to say something without interrupting and you want to remember what you want to say. <laughs> so um, I wanted to put on the table, uh, I had two thoughts specifically relating to like black people in America. And the one thought is we've been fighting for freedom for a really long time. Like I've been hearing about this fight for freedom. And so the question I have is, is ha has anyone defined this freedom that we're fighting for? What is the definition of the freedom that we are reminded that we're supposed to be fighting for every January, Martin Luther King's birthday and the celebration of the Civil Rights Movement? And what is the freedom that we're fighting for? Anybody want to tackle that? Because if I'm going to be in a fight for freedom, I think it's important for us to know what it is we're fighting for. Go ahead, man. I don't know how relevant this is going to connect to your question now, but I've had the question on the table for quite some time of uh, politicians have been out here trying to <clears throat> uh, get the government to approve a reparation bill. Reparations? Reparations. Uh huh. Maybe that's a portion of the freedoms that you're questioning. I stepped back for lack of understanding, and I'm sure it's for lack of understanding. Why is why are we so involved in suggesting that the United States is who we should be reaching out for the reparations versus reaching back to Africa for the reparations if we are supposed to be their lost and stolen children? into slavery. Any mother at this table who loses their children is going to do whatever they can do to get their children returned to them. In my eyes, again, for maybe a lack of understanding, Africa has not done that. Well, I'm going to say this without intent to offend anybody, but just to make a point. A lot of times, mothers on crack don't be reaching back for their kids. And when you look at the history of what has gone on in Africa and trust, Europeans were colonizing Africans long before we got on the scene here. So a lot of times, we forget that just because they're in Africa and they are connected with certain traditions and understandings, that they've been just as damaged as we are, if not more. So to expect the mother on crack to reach back and look for their kids, this, I don't think it's realistic. That's just a perspective. I think that would be the identification of what I would be reaching for as a freedom. If I could honestly identify the fingerprint of where I belong mm -hmm. in the history of Africa. I can't identify that at this point. We're, can, all, we're all told that we come from kings and queens. I can't identify with the fingerprint. Um, so first, uh, I want to clarify that we were already here. Um, and. Uh, you know, I, I find it very difficult when I'm uh, engaging in life in general, when I'm looking at different things, whether it be social media or any type of media, and feeling like I need to be a part of whatever is taking place. Um, you know, I don't feel the need to march I don't feel the need to 
jump on board when the media has decided to highlight the next person that has been um, murdered or treated poorly or whatever it may be because to me, to have it dictated to me about what I should see and how I should see it, um, to me is not freedom. Um, freedom to me and uh, the reasons why I basically choose, chose my business to focus on wellness, uh, to focus on strengthening emotional intelligence, to focus on um, having mastery of self is because I want people to understand that when we care for ourselves and we know who we are, that ultimately that is freedom, when you're always seeking information. So, I mean, I, I do know, I, I just don't have a desire to respond to things within a, para, a, a paradigm that was basically given to us for which we should see the rest of the world and see ourselves. Um, so. You know, I, I, I'm not really sure what people are really fighting for, but for me, like I said, freedom for me is a mastery of self and being my best self, being kind um, to people, being loving, being loved each and every day, whether that means removing myself from someone or, you know, but I, I just don't choose to partake in politics and, and things of that sort because to me that's not what freedom, that's not where it really lies, or the answer. Freedom, anybody else want to tackle freedom? What is freedom? What is the freedom that we're supposed to be allegedly fighting for here in America? And I say where, I'm talking about um, so-called African Americans, black folks, whatever, born here. For me, I think that when it comes to freedom, in the traditional stance that we understand freedom um, is what Martin Luther King did. You know, let's march and um, we'll be free <laughs> um, without any foundation or basis. Um, Actually, the back of this will work good. So freedom, what, from what we understand it, is just the traditional, mm -hmm. you know, what people call the struggle. Um, and that is a challenge for me because I don't see how marching is freeing anybody. What do you think freedom is? Um, my personal take on freedom is more inward, internal. If you're, if you're free, act like you're free. Uh, um, if you're not in chains, you're not bound, I think you're free. Um, you can free yourself. So, and you can't put anybody over you. When, you. when you say I'm not free, and that means you're looking at everything like somebody's over you. Somebody's tying you down when you're not tied down. So, um, freedom to me is more internal, not external. Uh, for me, freedom is, is a mindset, um, letting go of looking for permission outside of, of self, letting go of the dependency of striving for things that were defined for you to strive for other than your basic living necessities. And then everything else beyond the necessities is, is a bonus. But the freedom to have what you need to live on a day-to-day -day basis is freedom. And um, not looking for someone to come save you for the things that you need. So in the spirit of what we're here to do, I, I just want to say I hear you and I, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> and if it's okay, I'd like to piggyback on it because 
I've lately been going through the quest for freedom from seeking approval from other people. Um, there are things that I've attempted to do that um, people have been guarding that development 